Good morning, everybody. <sighs> Happy Thursday. Yeah, I had to think for a second what day it is. Um, it's, uh, you know, same old, same old. Um, sit down, dog. Hey, sit down. Anyway, so I want to talk today about perception. Everyone's heard the uh, term perception is reality. Uh, well, I have somewhat of a slight issue with that because it, that implies that your perception is always right, no matter what anyone else's perception is and what they think. Well, that's not necessarily true. Maybe your perception actually is wrong. Unless you're a boss, right? Your boss, his or her perception is always right because you're an employee. No matter what the situation is, the boss is always right. The client is always right. Well, kiss my ass. No, it's not. They are not always right. A lot of times, not only are they wrong, they are really, well, wrong as an absolute. So you can't be, there is no gradation of wrong. Um, I'll be right back. My dog wants to go out. Okay, I'm back. All right. So, where was I? Yes, perception. So, if you're a boss and your perception, you think you're always right, you're not. Okay? Not only are you not right all the time, you're also a bad boss. I'm just going to say it. You're a bad boss. If you think your perception is always right and you think you have this authority to say, well, this is what I think. This is how I take it. This is how I, this is how I, you need to step off your freaking high horse and work like at a lower level for a while and remember what it was like to be treated that way. Because it seems like to me, especially people in the government, which is my background, that once they get to a certain point, they think that they've made it and they can essentially do and treat people however they want. And no matter what the situation is, they're going to be the one who's always right. Their perception is the reality and everyone else's perception is either just being defensive, trying to stay out of trouble, whatever the situation is. It's not true. I mean, if you've worked in any industry, really, you can relate to this. So... That's what I want to talk about today, and the reason I bring this up is because I have had several situations over the course of my career where not necessarily my direct boss, but bosses that I've interacted with, other people's direct supervisors, my supervisor, whatever, have acted like this, where I think that's what you meant. I was like, well, that's not what I meant. Well, that's how I took it. Like, but that's not what happened. Well, I think you need to change something. It's like, or how about you open your freaking ears and open your eyes and maybe take a step back from your position and try to see things from other people's perspective. Why is it always the employee or why is it always someone on the lower pay scale that has to change and do things to at the bidding of the boss? It really is, shouldn't be how it works every single time. Granted, if, you're, if your supervisor or someone in authority gives you a task and an assignment, go ahead and do it because that's part of your job, right? But at the same time, if you have questions and they don't give you the perception <laughs> um, or you work in an environment to where questions are encouraged then there's really no reason for them to get upset. And then their perception is, well, you don't want to work very hard or you don't know what you're doing or this or that. And I was like, no. The environment that you have created has put me in the mindset that no matter what the situation is, it's going to be wrong. So I'm just going to do it how I want. And if you don't like it, tough biscuits. Right? You can't get upset with me if you don't give me clear direction, I talk about this some similar to this about in the the rock drill video, which I will link in in this video, so you can take a look at that. But it's <sighs> why are you getting upset with me? He's like, oh, create this. I was like, here you go. Like, what's this? It's like, it's what you asked for. It's like, no, it's not. It's like, well, you didn't. You weren't specific. You didn't ask questions. It's like because you said um, that I should know what I'm doing. 
dogs. You should know what you're doing. You're at this level, blah, blah, blah. Your resume said you've worked on this before. I was like, well, yeah. And the organizations I've worked for in the past, this is what works just fine. If you have something else in mind, give me a specific set of instructions. That way I can work off of that and create something that you enjoy or that's something you need. Like, oh, I wanted it to look like this over here. Like, well, why the hell didn't you just say that? Create something that looks like this. Cool. Not just create something. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make any damn sense. Like, if you tell me, I'm hungry, I want a bowl of rice. Okay, well, I'm just going to go in the cabinet and grab whatever rice I see and cook your bowl of rice. Takes five, ten minutes, right? Done. But no, I bring you a bowl of rice. No, oh, I don't want that kind of rice. I want a brown rice, or I want a jasmine rice, or I wanted this rice, or I wanted that rice. Well, if you wanted brown rice, you could have told me, and I would have gone to the store and got you some damn brown rice instead of you bitching after I spent however long to cook you this rice because this is what I had, right? I mean, what do you think? I mean, this, this is freaking ridiculous. Um, if you notice, I'm wearing a a onesie, and yes, it's a uh, it's. It's Sven from Frozen. We actually got these one year. My uh, my family, we all went as uh, Frozen characters. Um, my wife was Elsa. Which, w the one that doesn't freeze things. I think it's Elsa, right? Whatever. Um, my kids were both Olaf and uh, I was Sven. Because um, we, couldn't, we, we couldn't find a Kristoff one, so it's whatever. Anyway, and it's cold. It's very, very cold. You know, starting the weather's changing, and it's yeah. So I'm wearing a onesie today. Anyway, so I don't know. I'm. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to do whatever I need to do to work for myself, be my own boss, right? I mean, and if if I find a position to where I can work with some good people and do some great things and yes still have a supervisor but actually understands that their perception is not the only reality cool i'll do that but it seems this is a very common and very expected mindset once you get to a certain level especially if you're a government civilian not not always a contractor contractors yes but government civilians in particular have this idea like I am a GS, and you can Google what a GS is, general scale, it's a pay scale for the government's event. I'm this, therefore, I'm in charge, I make decisions, you follow, and if there's a problem, you are the problem. It is your fault, not mine. And of course, they'll give this, well, if I'm wrong, I have more, no problems uh, telling you that I am, and I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. Yeah, you do. You do have a problem admitting when you're wrong because you won't let anyone else explain unless you're in the end crap, right? Like, you know that situation where you want to have a team bonding experience and something comes up, a meeting, you have to reschedule, that makes sense. Or the senior person in the entire office, like if it's in a military organization, like a flag office, like a general admiral, whatever, they want to schedule a meeting with your boss. That makes sense. Someone, um, someone is sick. That makes sense. Oh wait, unless you're the one that your boss has a personal issue with, right? You're the one that they're not going to reschedule the team bonding day with or for, right? It's if you have something that comes up. Oh, it's okay. We'll get. We'll. Uh, we'll see you next time. We're gonna miss you at the thing. No, no, you're not. No, that's crap. People were like having other things going on, even personal situations. Oh, I'm gonna be doing this. I have another obligation, so we're gonna have to reschedule it. Okay, cool. And then something comes up to where you can't make it. Whatever. And I know there's gonna be some people who are like, well, maybe you're the problem. Maybe you're just not a team player. Maybe you're just. And maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just an asshole. Or maybe I'm just too honest. Maybe I just don't care. Maybe I just like have very low tolerance for bullshit. And you're going to treat me like a human freaking being. And you're going to treat me in a certain level of respect. 
simply because I work with you and I'm not your minion, I'm your coworker or your colleague, right? You know what I mean? You don't actually sign my paychecks. You don't sleep next to me in my bed. My wife does, okay? You don't sign my paychecks. And that kind of is like a little convoluted. So my wife does not sign my paychecks, just so that's clear. She doesn't, I don't work for her in a company, all right? So I'll, uh, you know, make that clarification real quick. But my wife sleeps next to me in my bed. You don't, so you can't have that kind of authority. I don't work for a company that has your name on it, your names are not on my paychecks, someone else's is. And yes, that company is contracted with you, but you don't have to talk down to certain people or any people. You don't have to basically act like your decisions are the only ones that are necessary and you have this authority it's like, I can, at the snap of a fingers, change your life and you will no longer have employment. Bitch, there are 10.5 million jobs out there. This is not the only one. Everybody has options. Have you heard of the Great Resignation? That's another video that I made and I talked about. So, it's out there. And with people having qualifications and skills and education and everything else and experience... Jobs will come. They will come looking for you. Companies are uh, applying to people now. Not not the other way around. I'm not applying to jobs. You shouldn't either. There's enough out there. I mean, yeah, you can click the button let them know that you're interested in them. You know, so they can come to you and, like, try to convince you to work for them. Cool. Right? Or just put your... Resume on various websites, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Clarence Jobs, if that's your thing or whatever. And these are not paid sponsors or anything like that. These are just job uh, boards that you can put on. Like, everyone's on them, right? Go for it. If you're not happy, kick rocks. If you're not, if you don't think you're valued, kick rocks. You know? Or if you want, you can just really not give a, give a shit. And if they let you go, if they terminate you, fine. Okay. I'm sure that there's uh, stipulations in the in the employment agreement that, okay, you're going to have health coverage for the, the month. You know, you're going to get your final paycheck, fine. And you take a couple of days to uh, unwind, clear your head, and move forward. Being terminated on a job... Ex, um, experience isn't the end of the world so don't think and I know people are going to say oh my god if I get fired it's going to mess me up in my career no it's not no it's not really I mean because a lot of jobs they will talk to you and they will try to get your side of the story of course they're going to go talk to the other company and be like hey what happened here and depending on your state there's certain laws that says that they can and cannot do certain th say certain things like a lot of states for example the the recruiters and the employee the potential employment will call that company and confirm the employment and all they're really allowed to say hr is allowed to say is yes or no if you work there no um you're not el not eligible for uh employment reemployment right and they can say if you were terminated or you quit that's it now granted if you walked into the office naked and stole a computer and slapped a janitor on your way out, they'll probably give that company a heads up of you being a little batshit crazy and doing some crazy stuff. But they're not, I mean, they can't say, oh, you know, they sucked. You know, they can't do this. They don't know how to spell, blah, 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 blah. No, that's, they really can't do that much, right? So you're good on that. And if they do and you find out about it, guess what? Lawyers got to work too, right? So just saying. And with it, with the mass uh, exodus of employers, employees and people no longer giving a shit what others think and people no longer tolerating bosses and other people of authority like laying that hammer down, they're not going to take that chance. 
because they're no longer going to have the workforce to actually fulfill their obligations either. Just so you know. So anyway, <sighs> circling around to my point, your perception matters. Okay, not just your bosses, not just your coworkers. Your perception matters. Okay, and if you're in a position to leave the uh, leave a situation where you're you don't feel that your perception is relevant, you need to leave. And I, that's my words of encouragement today: is find a position that values your perception and maybe wants to take in what how you see things and try to work um to a happy medium and try to figure out where the disconnect of communication is because if the if there is never going to be a full circle conversation if there's never going to be um a coming of the mind coming to the minds to if there's never going to be a coming of the minds to like figure out how things can improve and how the project can get done to the standards of the organization while also keeping you employed and keeping certain people um, happy while others engaged, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, to you know move forward and go to the next task. Right. Seriously, like that's 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 what needs to happen. And if you're not in a situation where you can do that, you need to go somewhere else because you're you're going to start waning on your mental health. You're going to start. Your fuse is going to get shorter and shorter and shorter. And eventually you're going to lose your shit. You know, it, I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're just like whatever i'm i'm this level i'm just going to you know toe the line and that's fine if that's how you can handle things and that's how you can deal and that's what the type of person you are hey hats off to you cuz i'm not like that more power to you okay do your thing you know and cool by me so that's all I I'm, that's all I needed to say. And this is kind of a, a ranting video, which is what it is. Um, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Um, reply to me, whatever. I am on various different platforms. Uh, BitChute, Minds, uh, Odyssey, Rumble. Um, so if you're also on those platforms, come find me. Um, these videos are also posted on there, so it's not just um, a one-stop shop on YouTube or anything else. Also, follow me on Twitter. I just started a Twitter account, so follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you're um, a content creator, I have no problem following you back, so share the love. That's cool. And I hope you're staying positive. Hope you're staying warm, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Peace.